Should you really drop a class? What are the things you should definitely consider before dropping a class? Many of you may be watching this video at the start of the year and you're trying to figure out if your schedule is really the way you want it to be as you're getting a taste for all of your courses as the year begins. If you're in high school or in college, this video hopefully will help you make that decision of whether or not to drop a class. I'm gonna go through eight questions that you should definitely ask yourself as you're considering whether or not to drop a class. And if you're not familiar with the term dropping a class is when you remove a class from your schedule or switch it out for another class without it going on your transcript at all. So the first thing you should consider is whether or not you're actually in the drop ad period for your school, college, or university. Now this drop ad period is usually about two weeks at the start of the year. It could be more, it could be less depending on the school or institution. And basically what it means is it's the time when you can switch out your classes or change them without having any repercussions for your transcript or your permanent record. A lot of schools allow this to have students room to change their schedules and really make sure that they're in the classes they want to be in at the start of the year. If you have passed that drop ad period, it is much more difficult, if not impossible, to actually drop a class. So make sure you check with your school before you actually try to drop a class. Number two thing you wanna ask yourself is, is this class required? Now, whether it's for your diploma or your major, you really need to think carefully about dropping a class that is necessary for your graduation requirements. This means if it's a core class, like a science credit or an English credit in high school, or if it's a very specific major requirement, what's gonna happen if you do not take this class? Maybe you'll be able to take it another year. Maybe you won't be able to, but you wanna make sure you check all of the requirements for your diploma or your degree before you actually consider dropping. Number three, what are the alternatives? If you're taking an AP class, for example, if you still really want that AP credit, but you just don't have room to actually take the class in your schedule, there is the option to self-study, pay for the exam and take it on your own. I definitely do not recommend this in most cases. In fact, I often encourage students who are thinking about self-studying for AP Biology to go ahead and take the course if it is at all possible. I know there are certain situations where it's really not an option. So self-studying for an exam is an option in the case of some courses. You also may be able to take a course at a community college or another institution and still get credit for that class if it's not something that you wanna take at your school. Now again, this is something that's, that can be a little bit complicated, so you definitely wanna make sure you check with your principal or your counselors before you go down this route. Number four question you wanna consider before you actually drop a class is the impact. How is this gonna impact your future classes? If you drop a class or drop down a level from AP to honors or honors to standard, this could have repercussions for the classes that, that you might wanna take in the future. For example, if an AP history class for juniors has a prerequisite of another AP class that most people take their sophomore year, when you get to junior year, you may not be able to enroll in the AP level course because you took honors or general version of that class the previous year. Same thing goes with honors classes or standard classes. Often schools or teachers call this tracking, meaning you're on a specific track depending on which courses you take. So really take the time to sit down and think about what are your course options gonna be next year and two years down the road based on your schedule this year. If you drop a class, what are the impacts on your future schedule? Same thing in college. If you drop a class now, will you be able to take that class later in the spring semester or another part of your college career? If you're not able to, which classes could you take in its place to get the same credit that you would need to meet your graduation requirements? Fifth thing you wanna consider before dropping a class is what the rest of your schedule is like this current year or semester. You definitely wanna take into account how many APs or really upper level difficult classes you already have and the rigor of those courses that are already on your schedule. A lot of students considering dropping a class already have some pretty rigorous schedules. They may not have time, the mental energy for this class, or it's just stressing them out too much, or they find it's just too challenging on top of all of their other challenging course load. If you're taking an AP class for the very first time and you get into it and it's much more difficult than you thought it would be, maybe you're considering dropping and that is okay. Sometimes it's better to perform very well in an honors or a general or standard course in high school than struggling your way and making a D or a C in an AP course. But this is something you'll wanna to talk to your teachers about and to your college counselors about and what the repercussions could be further down the road. If you have more than one AP course in your schedule, you are gonna be devoting a significant amount of time to outside of class work. The class isn't just gonna be hard itself, but the amount of work that you're gonna to have to do at home or on your own is going to go up significantly. As you start to get your syllabi for the year, take note of where your grades are coming from and how much work you're gonna be required to do. If you see, for example, a lot of reading on the course syllabus, then you know you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time reading outside of class. If you are a slow reader, this could really impact your ability to perform well or to do the other work for your other classes. 
So thinking about the workload for this particular class, but also combined with all of your other classes is gonna be really important. The sixth thing you wanna ask yourself when you're considering dropping a class is what are your extracurriculars like? What is the time commitment that you have to sports, to clubs, to internships, to jobs that you're gonna to have to do in addition to your classes? If it's just too much or you're sacrificing your sleep or your mental health to get everything done, then dropping a class may be the best option for you. And sometimes these experiences can be more valuable than certain academic courses. Keep in mind too, if you keep a class that's an AP level class in high school and you're also doing a lot of extracurriculars or sports, in the spring the course may ramp up as you're prepping for the AP exams. Are you going to be willing to sacrifice that time in your spring sports season for extra study time for the AP exams? In college, you may be responsible for work-study programs or volunteering or other things that could get in your way of performing your best in a class. So think about that as you're making this decision too. On the flip side, there could be certain experiences that you're doing right now that could actually help you in your current class. Certain sports could pair nicely with a course in kinesiology. Or if you're doing an internship, you may want to actually take the course that corresponds to something that you'd be learning or doing in that internship at the same time. The seventh thing you want to consider before you actually drop a class is your performance on the first few assignments. Now, you may be considering dropping a class before you've even started the school year, and that's totally fine too. You may want to tweak your schedule before you've actually been to the class. But if you have had a little bit of a taste of what the class is going to be like, and you see your first few grades, whether or not it's a test, a quiz, or a very quick homework assignment, Think about how much effort you had to put into that work and what the output was, what the grade was that you got for that first assignment. If you had to put in a lot of effort and your grade wasn't that great, that could be an indicator of how well you're gonna do in the course for the rest of the year. If your grade is definitely not what you expected it to be, this is not an indication that you should definitely drop a course, but it is something that you wanna consider and think about what help or other resources you're gonna have to use throughout the year to do well and to be successful in that class. If you're not performing well in the first few tests or reading quizzes, you may know that you're gonna to have to make room for office hours, which is one more thing that you'll have to do throughout the year, or form a study group, or reach out to people who have already taken the class before. The last thing and the number eight question that you can consider before dropping a class are what are your ultimate goals for career, for college majors, or just for things that you want to learn and do and be in life. If this course corresponds to that, for example, you know you want to major in biology or you're thinking about it as a career, then taking AP Biology may be something that's really important to you for high school. If you're in college and you're taking a neuroscience class and you're majoring in biology, but you know you're going to be going down the route of agriculture or studying plants, then that neuroscience class, if it's not required, may not be as essential for you as some other options that you could have taken. Now these are just a few examples, but think about whether or not you want to actually stick it out and learn something from the course and if it corresponds to your ultimate interests and goals, or if it's just something to have on your transcript and resume. More often than not, I do see some students staying in courses where they really aren't interested and they struggle really hard in the course just because their friends are in that class, they feel like it would look good on their transcript, or they're getting pressure from their parents or other people to take the class. The rigor of your schedule is a very personal decision, so make sure you consider all of these things before making any decisions about whether or not to drop or to add classes. What questions do you have about dropping or adding classes? Let me know in the comments below. Good luck this school year or semester. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.